Okay, guys. Tonight I'm just gonna do a quick um, live unboxing to let you guys see my newest collection of um, miniature fairies and gnomes. So welcome, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hi, Papa's kitchen. This um this is a new collection. I'm going to be building a new miniature stage, and um, this piece is probably one of my biggest pieces at about seven inches big. It's going to be a fairy and gnome crossing. Here's one of the the gnomes I'll be using. You can see there, not that big. This is about four inches big. Hi, DNT in Tennessee. How you guys doing? Thanks for visiting. Just showing off a, a new collection. I'm going to be working on a, a new miniature stage. This is the Little Gnomes uh, clothesline, two little tiny mushrooms. Usually miniatures can be a little expensive, but I'm really fortunate because we have a, a dollar store in the community, and you can see I spent a whole dollar <laughs> on most of them. So, if you have a Dollar Tree, Dollar General, that's where I got these at. Look at how tiny this little girl is. She has little wings and some really pretty color. And what usually takes me long is I take a piece like this and, um, oops, sorry, and have to rework its face. I have a little too much lighting on these pieces. Let me turn that down. Is that better? There we go. I know it's blurry. I'm working on it. I am not good with these lives. It's not my, not my thing. Um, but I just thought I'd get on. I've been doing some um, videos lately, and they just haven't been picking up. I did donuts, and gosh, what else have I done? <clears throat> Fried potatoes, I think. A handful of others. And uh, since they weren't picking up, I thought... I'd get on and do a live, and it's kind of like a, a commercial, right? <laughs> Here's another little piece. It's a, a little well. <laughs> Some little frogs. Looks like he's whispering sweet nothings in her ear. So these just need to be just a little bit more paint. Um, give them a little more character. Every town needs a wishing well. There's a little wishing well. Considering it's from the 99 cent store, they did a really good job. They put the water inside, and you have some pretty little flowers, some nice greenery, and it even says, wishes, 10 cents. Oh, whoops, sorry. I thought that was a, a really great piece. Got some bigger pieces of just some houses. This one definitely has a little more detail to it. These are going to be fun to paint. 
I, uh, what I'll do is I, I'm on YouTube all day. I watch everyone's videos. I'll just pop a video on and, um, start painting and working on my little projects. Oh, this is such a great piece. Okay. I'm going to speed it up a little bit because I probably have about 40 pieces to go through. Oh, thank you, Papa's. That's so sweet to say. I, um, I always loved miniatures as a child and, you know, they're very time consuming and they could be pricey. So as an adult, I said, I'm doing it. This is what I want. And, um, just one day I decided to just start my channel. Um, and I, I really have fun doing these, these videos. Sometimes they're very stressful. Don't get me wrong. They can be extremely, extremely stressful. This isn't picking that piece up very well. There you go. It's a little tea cart. Huh. Oh, thanks. It is. I have um, <clears throat> multiple multiple um miniature stages and I, I really enjoy doing that now I, I don't really celebrate halloween but i did make the mad scientist stage um and just learning how to do shorts and just having fun with it uh, i'm gonna do what did i oh i want to do some um donuts some orange donuts little pumpkin pumpkin decorations it is a whole new world, d and It is a whole a whole different world. Um, I'm really excited to work on work on this gnome and fairy. Look at even their little fire, which I do have a fire pit. Oh, you're gonna love this piece. A little wheelbarrow. Get busy in the garden. A little wheelbarrow. Let me see if I could back it up a little bit. I'm, I have a little apartment. I'm in my room. It's where I have my desk, where I do all my editing and all my videos. So, I'm in a little tiny corner in the back of my, in the back of my room. Oh, look at this piece. This is a little chair, a butterfly chair. <laughs> okay, Papa's. Now I I I have stopped videos and I've said a good cuss word or two because it's not easy, especially you know if you drop something, it goes all over your kitchen, and uh, you know it takes me maybe ten fifteen minutes to clean everything up, refill everything, and start over. So yeah, it it can be maddening. Oh, this is a little, I haven't, I, I bought these and I, I tucked them away and now I'm ready. Now I'm ready and, and to start working on it. And these are so pretty. I'm just, oh, I'm just loving them. It's like seeing them all over again. Um, oh, this guy's so cool. Look at him with his sunglasses. I was thinking like, you know, they, um, they decorate Santa wearing a, uh, like a luau shirt. I don't know. I'm not going to do Santa, but <laughs> This is a little bridge. Now, this is probably my most expensive piece because I bought this at Hobby Lobby, and that was $4. And then I looked at it, and I thought, I could have built that. But I say that now. <laughs> They're not that easy to build. Put this little guy right here. Hmm. You cooked 42 burgers and 40 hot dogs in the rain? Oh, <laughs> What church? And I'm in Sevierville. So I know I know we live in the same I think you live in East Tennessee, right, DNT? I see a lot of your videos in East Tennessee. Oh, this little guy. Let's see. <clears throat> These are really fun. These are actually pathways. Kind of cool, right? Little pathways. So you can see a little pathway going to its house. Oh, visitors. So I got some little pathways. Let's 
see. Let's see what else. I gotta make room. Now these are fun pieces. This is again from the Dollar Tree. Oh, you're in West Tennessee. 200 years old. I do love the history. I do love the history in Tennessee. Um, I'm from California, born and raised. You love grilled hot dogs. <laughs> okay, so speaking of grilled hot dogs, let me show you my idea. I was thinking, what am I looking for? I'm looking for, oh, one of my minute, I have miniature kitchens all over my apartment. So grilled hot dogs, Speaking of, um, speaking of grilled hot dogs, look at how cool this little guy is. Let me show you this piece. I was going to do hot dogs in this. A little barbecue. Hamburgers and hot dogs. So I'll, I'll be doing that soon and I'll be thinking of you guys. <laughs> oh, your wife's family is from Memphis. Yeah, I'm from California. I've been in uh, Tennessee for about um, about a year and a half now. And it, it's nice. It's different. It's definitely different than California. A little bit slower pace than I'm used to. And um, I just thought I'd come enjoy Tennessee for a little while. I do like to move around. Oh, look at how tiny this little sign is. Big difference from the first sign to this side. So now we're getting into true miniatures. True um, 112 scale miniatures. And this is where I start using tweezers. See something as small as the grass. They can't even stand up because this, this grass is too big. Oh my gosh, like a little water pot with a spigot. What is this? Just a little tree. Oh, it looks like there's a frog. I don't know if you can see that. There's a tiny frog right there. You can see one little eye. Okay. Again, dollar store. And now I don't know if I'm going to paint these. These are very tiny. I have small hands, so you can see it's smaller than my pinky. So we're looking at, I don't know, maybe two and a half inches from the top of her, her little hat. These really need to be painted, but I could use them for background. That's what I was originally thinking of doing. I have a little windmill. I saw this. This made me think of Tennessee. A little windmill. These are some more um, house doors. So that'll be fun. You just plaster them up against. Got another one right here. Handfuls of those. A lot of pieces in this collection. Each piece was a dollar. So I don't know how many I have. That's a pretty girl with a little rabbit. She's painted really nice. You know, put little rouge on her cheeks. How cute is that? They did a very good job on that piece. And Bartlett. I don't know where Bartlett is, but I bet D&T do. This just looks like some little trees. I do have family in northern Tennessee, so I do get to drive up there and see them once in a while. This is a little beehive. Hey, how are you, my dear? It's nice to see you, Bee. Got this tiny, I'm assuming this is a mini, mini, mini windmill. 
and the pieces are so small and dropping them in my room. Let's see. This piece is painted really well, too. There you go. These are just lovely, lovely. Let's see what else we have. Um, okay, I have three pieces left. Another little fairy. I knew you guys would know. Oh, she looks so innocent, almost like she's doing a little curtsy with her dress, looking upwards. So pretty, they used pastels. and This will be a really fun collection to make. Okay, two more pieces, and going back to 112. Whoopsie. Dropping the pieces. Used to paint Indian busts, western and rodeo theme. Oh, how fun. Yeah, I don't paint well. If I have to start with a, a blank canvas, I don't do very good. But if I start with something that looks like this, and then I just accent and clean it up, then I'm pretty good. <laughs> Look at the little baby, the little baby gnome. Tiny little gnome. Oh, and here's another little baby. I just love the little baby gnomes. <laughs> mm. That one looks goofy, but nonetheless, it's cute. <laughs> so adorable. And then I have these three little guys. Time to shower. I know it's 11 o'clock. I, I'm still on California time. I don't go to bed till like 3, 4 in the morning here. It's it's very hard for me. California is three hours earlier. So I'm still in California time. DNT, thank you so much for showing up and supporting me. Thank you for chatting with us. It was a pleasure to have you. Here we go. These are my last three little pieces. Let's see, they're super tiny. Oh, I just love this one. Anything with the mushrooms. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I've I've had um, my channel <clears throat> for about, let's see, I started last year in December. So we're just hitting about 11 months. Bye, Papa. Thanks for checking in. And uh, spending time with us. It was a pleasure to have you. Have a good night. So, yeah, I've had my channel for about 10 or, 10 or 11 months. And, no, it, it isn't, uh, it's not the easiest thing to do. But I do enjoy creating the videos. Gosh, this piece is so pretty. I would love to paint that tea set in there. I don't know. I'm gonna need like a little magnifying glass to help me in some really small, small um, paintbrushes. So did anyone see a favorite piece out of all of these? Oh, Papa's, you're still here at Papa's Kitchen. I thought you were Oh, I, maybe you were telling DNT by. I thought you were going, going to bed. There you go. That's it. That's the collection, guys. That's all of it. I was thinking of um, doing another video tonight of chocolate donuts. But I don't know if I am or not. Any favorite pieces? That you guys see that you like. It's a tiny little clothesline right there. I 
and a blue bird. That one's painted really well for a dollar. A little watering can. Got another little mushroom right there. Oh, this one is so pretty. It has a little bird hidden right there. Looks like sunflowers. I have, I just started doing shorts about a month ago. Um, and yeah, some of them have taken off. I think uh, with my shorts, I think I got, uh, so I started a month ago and I think I gained about 250 subscribers with just my shorts in the last month. So yeah, shorts are definitely working more than creating videos. And not only that, when I create a video, it takes me forever um, for the editing process, and like I said, if I drop something, having to reset the whole stage, and then I also do subtitles in 50 different languages, and just the subtitles take me to do the subtitles, um, to describe it, because they're real recipes, it's real food, so if you put your subtitles on, or the closed captions, You'll see I described the recipe, although I don't give specifics and measurements or weights, I do tell you what is in the recipe and what you need to do. So um, then putting in the 50 different uh, subtitles, a two minute video can take me six hours with kitchen prep time, filming, you know, getting the food, cutting the food, prepping my mini kitchen, filming, editing. Finding music. Oh, I struggle so much with finding music for my video. So a lot of time there and then subtitles. So yeah, I really appreciate the shorts more than my regular videos because the shorts, I could just whip one together and I still do the subtitles, uh, at least for the title of the short. So a short, you know, a 15 second short will still take me an hour to do. Sounds crazy, but it's true. And I just keep telling myself, it'll pay off one day. It'll pay off one day. <laughs> Anyways, that's the whole collection, guys. Um, it, was, it was nice being on tonight. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I am going to um, shut this down for the night. Yeah, I have kind of one little last look. Oh, that's awesome. 9,000 views. Yeah, I'm learning too. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Like I said, some of my shorts, I'll get a, a hundred views and some I'll get thousands. It's crazy. Thank you so much for, for coming Papa's um, Kitchen. Thank you so, so much. I'm glad you guys had fun. Best of luck to everyone. Let's totally stay connected. I, I watch all, I watch everyone's videos. Um, I'm on YouTube all day long. So I'm doing my best to leave comments for everyone and support everyone. I love you guys. I hope everyone has an awesome, awesome night. And uh, we'll do this again. Thanks. Have a good one. Yeah, let's close this up. We're done for the night. Good night, guys.